Ladies and gentlemen, it is winter, and like in real life, the farmer goes into hibernation. We are going to pass the winter fairly quickly. Uh, I'm just going to kind of page through. If I see anything cool, I'll let you know, but I don't have really anything to do. I don't know. It's been a while since I've recorded Class Farm. Uh, I don't have anything to do. I just got to kind of wait till spring comes. So we have grass planted. And uh, once again, we're going to hopefully get... It's a germinated, which is good. Um, and that's not Germany. It's germinated. Uh, we're going to try to get this... Uh, hopefully growing by spring. Uh, early enough that we can mow it and turn it into silage. And then we're going to plow it under for fertilizer and plant our regular winter crops. So, I mean, <laughs> fall crops. Spring, summer crops. Whatever we call it. I guess it'd be summer, right? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of waiting for this to all pass over. And uh, we'll go from there once that's over with. I'm, I'll need to get a forage harvester, obviously, Kloss. And uh, we'll get that going. All right, guys. So I'll be back. But I just want to let you know, hey, if I see snow on the ground, we'll definitely come and take a look at it because I'm sure that'll be cool. Um, and see what our little farm looks like in the winter wonderland. Little farm, big farm. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is midwinter, uh, pretty early in the morning, about 9 o'clock. Sun's just coming up. Hasn't snowed yet. Uh, I am working on we the sawmill, or the, I'm sorry, not the mill, the pallet mill is finished with a bunch of pallets. So I'm right now collecting these, and uh, there's more to come. But today I'm just going to, uh, we're not going to videotape any of this, but I'm just, I'm basically moving pallets off the the assembly line and taking them over. I'm going to put a couple of them over here at the mulch facility, though. I think they have, they got some left. Um, the rest of them are going over to our beer facility. So um, we should have plenty of pallets for the upcoming year and uh, probably more than enough for a season or two. So we're good there. All right. It is still midwinter and I am working hard. Uh, I got here. I'll show you what we did. Um, these are hard episodes. I've gotten two minutes of footage after working for about two and a half hours, uh, which is why I don't put a lot of these videos out. People are like, why don't you put it like more class farm? Because I have to play it, like sit there and play for hours without getting any stuff done where I have other games where I can just get, you know, immediate content. But I love this farm, and so I want to get it done. But See these nice stacks of pallets? Now, neither of these places are absolutely full, but... This is what I've been doing. I put all those in there. And uh, we have a little bit of work that we have to do now uh, because I have 73,000 liters of wood chips. Now, they're not going to be worth a ton of money, but it's winter. And we should get a decent price for wood chips if we sell off what we've got. So let's take a look here. And uh, I'm going to run over. To our brewery. And I'm going to show you we did some work here, too. We still got a bunch of malts. Whoa, malts left over from last year. And we'll be putting more in. But look at all these pallets. Got a nice uh, collection of pallets on this end, too. We should be good for about a year or two with pallets, I would think. Um, just the way that we did sales last year. There's only so much product that comes off of our field, so. And once again, I'm hoping that our our uh, hops like we're going to grow hops on our grass fields here um, the inner the inner ring fields so this is going to be hops here and then the big fields are going to be wheat and barley so wheat being the biggest field barley being the second well, actually maybe barley needs to be the biggest field because you know what now that I think about it um, let's take a look Whoa, I think my joystick no there we go okay Um, oh boy, they're about the same, aren't they? Really? This will be, this will be barley and this will be wheat. Um, some of the barley has to go to the malt factory. Some of it has to go to our brewery. So, but let's go ahead and grab our tippers. to go for his poo-poo poo -poo walk. <laughs> I've been making him wait. 
There we go there. Yeah, in a minute, Grom. Let me do this first, all right? Yeah, hold on. He's like, come on, Dad. Come on. No. Well, in a minute, Gromit. No, kitty. This is my papa. No, kitty. No. Bad kitty. I do love these modular trucks. Um, I know it's kind of a waste to have like seven different trucks, but in real life, that's really how you would do it, you know. You'd have a bunch of trucks. Fill her up, Mac. We'll have to make a couple trips because I don't think this holds 65,000. It might, though. I think this holds... Wow, it's more than I thought it was. Jeez. Wow. All right, we need to look here and see who's buying wood chips for lots of money. Um... <laughs> Gosh, there's so many products on this map. Lear Palatin, Bretter Palatin, Pellets, Zucker, Mile. I probably missed it. Sorry. Ah, wood chips. Oh, the price is down, actually. That's not great. Rifeson. And so you double click it there, and we're going to see Rifson is where. Can I see the dang map? <laughs> okay, uh, so we're going to turn left out of here and then right. If we can get out. Lights on for safety while working in facilities. Don't want to kill anybody. Whoa, that was a very inside view of our tipper. That's more tipper than I wanted to see. <laughs> All right. Roll, roll, roll. Up the hill, come on, you can do it. This is one of the reasons why I did this kind of truck instead of a flatbed, because I knew we had these weird, funky, funky hills on this map. So I'm excited. I'm heading to England here in a couple weeks. I will continue the series while I'm there uh, on my laptop, but uh, I will be going there for three weeks uh, from October, end of October to beginning of November. To see my wife. And uh, thankfully she got approved for those of you that have been not keeping up with that. <laughs> uh, she does have her uh, approval to get the green card now. We just have to go through the interview process, which will be fine. That'll be easy. Come on. There we go. And then she will be able to come here to the United States. So, exciting stuff. Finally. Um, I need which truck selected. There we go. Why is it not... Wood chip is not accepted here. You said what? Hmm. Wood chip is not accepted here. Rafson? What is, is that? Not wood chip? Is this wood chip? No, that's wood chip. Well, what's Hoffen? Oh, there we go. Well, let's head up there and see if they take wood chips. That sucks. 
What a dud. Like, why would they have this here if it doesn't accept wood chips? But... Those liars. The world's most aggressive truck driver. Beep, beep. Coming through. All right, I'll catch you when I get on that side of the map. All right, so we have arrived at the locale. At the Hoffen. Is this Reifsen or Hoffen? This is Hoffen. 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 I don't know what it's called, but here we are. It's we're here anyway. This should take them. Yes. Yes, you take. Hmm? You take yes. You take no. I'm going to the wrong freaking places. Okay, I should have just looked at what I was carrying. This is the wood chip symbol. I just saw that now. I'm such a dork. Yes, I know. All of you are like Arthur. You're such a dork. God dang it. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, oh, it's the only the sawmill takes it. Of course. Of course. This reminds me of a road rally um, where we have to stop at points as quickly as possible without speeding so we don't get a ticket. I'll be back. All right. We are coming around the corner when she comes. We'll be coming around the corner when she comes. I could have done this in three minutes, and instead it took 20. I, she'd be coming around the mountain. <laughs> uh, all right, here's the wood chip dump. Yeah. Yep. Oh, imagine that. Dump, dump, dump the wood chips, won't you dump them? Dump, dump, dump the wood chips, won't you dump them? Dump, 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 dum, dum. Dump, dump, dum, 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 dum. You're a dummy, Arthur. Dump your dumb wood chips. Okay, so uh, we have arrived. I need to get that trailer in a different way because obviously I missed. So we we made $3,000 on that load. That's not as much as I thought we were going to make. This one will be significantly more. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so anyway, you are a good doggy. Yes, you are. My grommet's got to go potty. Yes, he does. Bark. 9000 That was it. So $12,000. <laughs> that was the biggest disappointment in the game. Oh, well, at least I paid for my bills for winter doing that. Uh, I still have some wood chips left at the factory, so I'm going to go ahead and sell those also. But that was really minuscule. That was not, uh, that was not the results I was hoping for. Yeah. And we're going to have to do some biogas work. I think I'm going to use this tipper to pull behind the biogas, um, excuse me, the forge harvester. Because it should work just fine. The other option would be to use the sugar beet style trailer, because those also work. Um, but then I have to buy another trailer and I don't, I'm trying to economize a bit because obviously we've got a ton of money. We're going to have to buy a forge harvester. It's going to be, unfortunately the class ones are like $300,000 or 400,000 plus the header. So we're looking at about 450 with the header. And then we're going to have to do, um, uh, what was the reason? We're going to have to do, we, I think we have to either buy some of the silos at the biogas plant. Or we have to buy the BGA. I'm not sure which. I think we just have to buy the silos. Um, and then we use those. But that's going to cost, you know, that's going to be another $100,000. So we're looking at probably five, $600,000. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to take out a loan in the spring. Hopefully we'll have it paid off. I mean, we'll definitely have it paid off by winter. I can't see us not making enough money off the barley and, and, and wheat. Of our beer, basically. Um... Like we're gonna we're gonna make a, we're gonna make that back, and plus we'll also have the silage come due in the summer, so that'll pay for some of it too. So I I think that you know one 
one round will have to have some. Is our loan paid off? I think our loan is paid off, isn't it? Let's take a look real quick at the bank. I don't remember, honestly. It's been so long since I looked at the finances. Yeah, I've got a zero loan. So I could take out a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars and be okay. Um, but I don't really want to, but we're gonna have to if we're gonna expand this year. And I think we need to. We need to be making more like seven to seven to eight hundred thousand a year or even a million. So Oh yeah, there's thirty two thousand more. That's another like three bucks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this sold, and I'll pick you up when I go to do that. But I have a doggy here that is desperately wanting me to take him for a walk. So I will be right back, folks. And so it was. Midwinter. It snowed. Now, our grass, unfortunately, did start growing. So I'm hoping that it doesn't... It doesn't look like it's going to kill it. It says it's growing. We're not going to mow in the snow, obviously. Um, but we'll let it grow. And hopefully it'll be done by spring. But uh, there we go. There's your snow maps. And we'll see what's masked off here. Obviously the house has got a mask. All these buildings have masks. So pretty cool stuff. Let it snow. We'll hop up here on the roof. Man, this weather's just around the corner. I am not ready. <laughs> I am so not ready for winter, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> The hot air balloon, that guy's frozen to death at this point. It's cold up there. All right, so we'll let it snow, and I'll catch you guys in spring. <laughs> Hang tight. It'll be there in a couple minutes. All right, so the grass is ready to harvest. It is mid-spring. We need to get this stuff up and done. In fact, I need to slow time down now uh, so that we can get these fields turned. We have, let's see. We took a look at the, oh, wait, Alt-S, right? Um, summer, summer, thanks for come around. I gotta hold on you, gotta hold on you tonight, night, night. Uh, we gotta do so. We have four, five, and six to get this mode, and then. Planted on seven, eight, nine. We should very easily be able to get all that work done. We only have three fields. This is the problem though with doing it this way because we got to we had to wait till four to get there. So, and then what about hops? Hops, I think, get planted later. Nope, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, so we're in hurry up mode now. Um. Uh oh, it's magic. Uh oh, it's magic. I got salt on my truck. Look at the wheels. I was driving around in the snow. So we're going to run over to the. Whoops. Hang on one second. I forgot to turn the volume back up while I was watching a movie. I hope you guys appreciate the work I went through to make this episode. Nobody watches this series anymore. I get a little frustrated with that, but that's because I do one video every six months. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to take a look here today at Forge Harvesters. And we're probably going to take out a loan. Hello, friends. Let's see what you got. No nope. Landscaping, what? Oh, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. all right. So we have a couple deal. I don't know. We could go with the Krona, but I think we need the class simply because we're pulling our own trailer. And that's going to take some horsepower. So we got the wheel set up. I think standard pretty much is good. Wow, you can 884. What on earth? Jeepers, criminy. 930 is fine. Standard pipe is fine. <laughs> Big tires. Huh. We'll just go with Midas. Midas. 
Midas wide, 375. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, and then we're going to need... I got the tipper. But we're going to need the mower for this guy. I think there's only one. Let's take a look through all. Yeah. We basically have this mower, the direct disc. And that's what we're going to do. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's if you're going to do crop. Okay. This is for grass. This is for crop. We're just doing grass. Um, yeah. Wow. And so now we need to look at our map. Um, wow. This is getting really slow. There we go. Um, I don't know that you have to buy the BGA. We'll see. Wow. Let's see what happens. I don't know if we if we can still sell at the BGA. We might have to if we have to buy the BGA, we'll have to take out a loan. We have enough money to operate for right now. We may still have to take I'm trying to avoid taking out a loan, but We just we may have to just take out a loan because just because uh, in order to pay for seed and stuff for this fields uh, this spring um, we might have to take out a small loan $100,000 would probably do it and then pay it back as soon as the silage is ready unfortunately the silage is not going to be that forage harvester really set us back but we knew that was going to happen I'm surprised I didn't have to take out a loan to get this far so So we're going to go ahead and get mowing here. And let me uh, grab this. truck up and we're going to use this tipper as our grass repository for the forage harvester and the forage harvester will pull it but then when we take it down to the station we'll use this I don't want to drive the forage harvester all the way down to the, all the way. It's right over there, but you know what I mean. All right, so let's find it. <laughs> Where is our forage harvester? There it is. So here it is, the Class Jaguar. This is the first time in years that I've actually purchased a forage harvester in the game. I, I almost never purchase these because they're really, except for what we're doing, because silage is not like the crazy valuable thing it used to be in game, uh, I don't buy them very often anymore because I really you, you really only need them for cows. And how how often am I doing a cow farm that's big enough to need a forage harvester? So I don't really buy these anymore. So it's kind of whoa! I forgot about the rear wheel steering. Uh, it's kind of fun to actually have a forage harvester back in the saddle or be back in the saddle of the Forge Harvester. He said, something like that. You know what I mean. You know what I meant.
Uh, there we go. Pipe out. That's my Facebook. Sorry about that. I'll get that in a minute. Oh, my God. My wife must have woken up. <laughs> yep. Now she's owing me. I'll be right back, folks. All right. So grass is a free way, sort of, to get silage. Really... What I'm using it for is to, um, you know, we're not getting it necessarily for free because I had to plant it, and now this is the one mow that we're going to get out of it. Even though it grows back for free, we need other stuff growing on these fields, so it's not the free thing that it is normally, but we're getting free fertilizer out of it. This counts as a stage of fertilization when you mow it, so can't complain there. It's actually a good thing. Um, so we'll get the... Hopfin planted on this, but or our harps, our hops for the beer. But in the meantime, we not only get our instead of doing the oil seed radish, we get our our chopped crop. I wonder if you could forage harvest. I don't think you can, but I wonder if you can forage oil seed radish. Not that it makes a difference. Grass is pretty much the same thing. You just it's an interesting be an interesting experiment actually to see how that worked um, but there you have it we're turning grass into fertilizer and we're also going to get some silage off of it so this is what the gra the grand master plan has been uh, so this first year and a half two years obviously we're we're not we're not losing money. We made money last year. We've pretty much broken even. We've got no loan. We've got all the equipment that we need, but we are going to take out a small loan to survive the year, at least until harvest season. Now, once we get that factory running again, we'll make another at least half a million, if not more, on beer sales, and we'll be able to pay off the loan and continue on our uh, glorious rise to stardom because we don't need any more equipment now, not for a while anymore. So we're going to get, you know, also we're going to have all the silage that we've made. Plus we'll have free fertilizer for next year in the form of slurry. Though we'll have to buy equipment for that, but that's simple. So I think this is going to be a good plan. What do you guys think? Plus it's fun playing with the forage harvester again. Like I said, I, I haven't, uh, haven't used one in quite a while, so it's kind of fun to add one back into the fire. Well, it's weird how it's not cutting the edges. It's kind of bizarre. Cutting that? Hmm, that's weird. Sort of cutting it. So I've got a big job ahead of me. I have to get all these fields done in the next day or two so I can start turning around and planting our crops. The ground is not warm enough yet for crop plantage. As you can see, it's 37 degrees. It needs to be 41 for some of these crops. So we still can't plant for another day or two but at least we'll get the crop mode and, you know. This tipper actually is working out really good. I thought I'd have to be emptying it like every 10 seconds, but it's big enough that it's actually taking a while to fill up. Plus, grass doesn't fill it up very quick, so. So we have the Class Jaguar in action, the smaller one, the three. I think the other one's a 400 series, the big one with the tracks. That thing's pretty cool, but... For what we're doing, using this as a mower, we don't really need that, so. Once again, we probably would have gotten away with the Crone Big X, and it would have been saved some money, but for the series, obviously, we're doing a class farm, so we need to kind of stick with that theme. 
and go all all out, all class, all day long. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go ahead and work on these fields and get this mowed. Um, and uh, I'll catch up with you probably as we're getting close to being done. I'll show you the, how much uh, material we got in our bunker because uh, that's going to be pretty cool. We should have a lot of stuff down there once I'm done. This is We've got a lot of field to mow. So we should have a decent amount of, of silage piled up down at the biogas plant. Uh, and then we'll have to... You know, one thing that I didn't think about, we're going to have to buy something. Actually, no, we're not because we have front loaders. We're going to have to bring one of our front loaders over, though, to load the silage into the furnace. So anyway. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we went, made it through the winter um, and got out here to do some forage harvesting uh, in spring. And uh, I think we're going to have a pretty successful farm. This is going to be my first actual profitable farm and the irony is it's on seasons so Achoo! pardon me all right guys have a great night be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help and we will see you next time on gloss farm good night